Hello, um, everyone. Uh, welcome to our presentation and uh, our YouTube channel in general. So in this uh, lesson, we want to look at um, matrix uh, norms. Specifically, we we'll deal with these three norms. That is the infinite norm, zero one norm, and one norm. What do they mean? All right. So we'll straight away go into the example. If you want to, the, uh, to want to see the definitions, understand what a matrix norm is, so on and so forth, you can just check through on one of our, of our, of our videos be able to find that um, that explanation, that definition. So in this uh, presentation, like I said, we just want to do a practical example. Okay, so if possible, you can pause the video, give it a try, then we should be able to compare our solutions. So we have uh, that matrix A. So we want to find the infinite norm of A, all right? So what is the infinite norm of A? All right, so the infinite norm of A will be found by getting the absolute sums of the rows, all right? So we need to determine the absolute sums of the rows. So we get the maximum, all right, of the absolute sums of the rows. So we we'll have one, the absolute value of one plus the absolute value of four plus the absolute value of of um, of one comma the absolute value of two plus the absolute value of five plus the absolute value of four um yeah then we say comma uh, absolute value of three plus absolute value of zero plus absolute value of three. Okay. Uh, this will give us um, the maximum of so one plus four plus five, five plus one, we have got six, comma. 2 plus 5, 7, then 7 plus 4, you have got 11. 11, then 3 plus 0, that's 3, plus 3, 3, 6. So here, what is the maximum? The maximum here is 6. All right, so the infinite norm of A is 6. Okay, then number two, we get the one norm of A. So one norm of A is the opposite of what we are doing. Uh, so here we we'll deal with the columns. The absolute column sums. So we need to get the maximum of um absolute of one plus the absolute value of two plus the absolute value of three comma the absolute value of four plus the absolute value of five plus the absolute value of zero comma absolute value of one plus absolute value of four plus absolute value of three then from these sums, we determine the maximum. So this implies that we're interested in the maximum value of one plus two plus three plus three six. Um, four plus five nine plus zero nine. Um, one plus four five plus three eight. So here, the answer is nine.
Okay, please take notes. Um, this one that I've done here is number three. It's for this one, right? The, the one norm of A, okay? Then this is now actually number three, I'd skipped. Then number two, we want the zero one norm of A. The zero one norm of A simply means you will get the, the absolute row sums, all right, and add them. Okay, the absolute row sums and add them, which has already been done from this step. So we are just going to say six plus. 11 plus three. So six plus 11 to give you a 17. 17 plus plus three, we get 20. So that is our solution. So that is how you get those. So we must be able to see the difference between the zero one norm and the one norm. All right. So the zero one norm, you obtain it by using the rows. Get the absolute uh, row sums, then add. The one norm, you get it using the columns. You get the absolute column sums and identify the maximum. That's where we end for this presentation. Thanks so much. Please subscribe to our channel, Kamban Piri, JM, and Shaomba Mbondo. See you next time. Bye-bye, and God bless.